On my podcast, From John to Justin, I looked at the lives of every single Prime Minister, and now I'm ranking them from the worst to the best. And we're on number five. My Twitter followers chose Pierre Elliott Trudeau. I don't have him there. My number five choice is Deef the Chief himself, John Diefenbaker. John Diefenbaker's parliamentary career began in 1940, and it would not end until he passed away in 1979. During that time, he would serve as the Prime Minister from 1957 to 1963. He was the only progressive conservative leader between 1935 and 1979 to have an election victory, which he accomplished three times. After winning a minority government and ending 22 years of liberal rule in Canada in 1957, Diefenbaker won the largest majority to that point in Canadian history in 1958. As Prime Minister, Diefenbaker would have many accomplishments. He would appoint the first female cabinet minister, Ellen Fairclough, and the first Indigenous person to the Senate, James Gladstone. He would also take a strong stance against apartheid long before other world leaders did, and he secured the removal of South Africa from the Commonwealth of Nations over it. He would also extend the vote to the Indigenous people in 1960, and his government ended racial discrimination in immigration policy in 1962, and it also passed the Canadian Bill of Rights. Two things do hurt the legacy of Diefenbaker in the eyes of the public. First, his stance on whether or not to accept Bomark nuclear missiles from the United States damaged his popularity in Canada. The second was the cancellation of the Avro Aero Project, which remains controversial to this day. It should be noted, though, that the cancellation was a complex issue and Diefenbaker tends to get most of the blame for it, despite several other factors playing a role. After the Liberals were elected in 1963, Diefenbaker would stay on as the Progressive Conservative leader until 1967. He would remain in the House of Commons until he passed away on August 16, 1979. So that was John Diefenbaker. Who's going to be number four? Tune in next time.